Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Revlon One Step Voluminizer and Hair Dryer. So this is the hair dryer. I got the special edition one, which is wrapped in titanium, and it's supposed to give you a better result. So yeah, if you're interested to see how I got on with this hair dryer, continue watching. So my hair has been washed and deep conditioned, and I'm just going to section it off into four sections and apply the products. Starting off with this back section, I'm going to apply the leave-in conditioner first. This is the Care Care leave-in conditioner. It's a few pumps of this, like four pumps. Um, I've used this a few times before and I really do like it. It's nice and nourishing but not too heavy at the same time. So yeah, just add a few pumps of that. And this is the John Frieda Frizz Ease All-in-One Original Serum. And this one is for medium to thick hair. So I'm going to add a few pumps of that as well. Two pumps. I don't know how I feel about this serum because both times I've used it, my hair poofed up pretty much straight away a little bit more for the ends so either this serum or the heat protecting that i use as well which causes the frizz but i definitely won't be using any of these two products in my silk press routines because i don't want it to be poofing up and then i'm going to apply the shine spray it does have heat protectant in it so yeah i'm going to use this today and because i'm not straightening i'm not going to go ahead and add another heat protectant because this does protect up to 200 degrees and i don't think the blow dryer is going to go up to 200 so well, I'm hoping not, but anyways. I'm just gonna add a few sprays of this. So this spray gives a glossy shine, it aids the tangling, and it has heat protection in it, like I said, and it's also silicone free. And then once all the products are applied, I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle it using this <laughs> Demon brush, which I don't recommend. I think I prefer to use a comb. I'm just gonna twist it up so it doesn't get tangled. Then I'm just gonna repeat those steps for all the sections. So that's all done now and it's time to open up the new hair dryer. So this is the Revlon One Step Volumizer. It's a special edition which is why it's red. I think the normal one is black and pink like the brush one. It says it's a salon hair dryer and voluminizer titanium. I don't know why they word their thing so backwards on their packaging but anyway salon blow dryer the original oval design dries and styles in one step helps to reduce heat damage with even heat distribution titanium coating salon blow dries in up to half of the time it says it has 36 percent less breakage okay so let's open it oh, jesus christ and that's what it looks like very nicely packaged Ouch. It's a plug. There we go. And you're just a booklet of instructions in the box as well. So this is the brush. It's a lot bigger than what I thought it was gonna be. We'll see how well it does compared to the brush, because I do like the brush. Got Allen key. Oh, I guess the Allen key is to change the UK plug head into an EU one. It's EU. I'm not going to try it now, but that's quite cool. I've never seen that before. I'm just going to blow dry my hair like I usually would with my other one step dryer. I'm going to use it on level one first to straighten out the hair a little bit and to make it 100% dry. Here we go. Okay, so the bristles were really great at detangling my hair and it was gliding through my hair pretty easy even when it got really frizzy but I do feel like the paddle brush version handled my whole section of hair a bit better than this one and it also got it a bit straighter on level one but I'll have to do a proper comparison video to see which one works better. Okay, so it's dry, um, 
but it's still very puffy. I'm gonna go over it on level two anyways, but with the Ava dryer, I'm able to get it flatter with level one. I'm just gonna part it off, flip that over here, and then ramp it up to level two. And I'm also passing the brush through more slowly than I usually do just to see if it worked better that way but it still didn't get my hair as straight as I wanted it and I also didn't get any of that curling action that they were talking about on my ends um, my hair is quite rebellious anyway so I wasn't <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to work and I was I wasn't surprised that it didn't work but anyways Um, yeah, I don't really see much difference, to be honest. It's working well. I think it's getting my roots a bit better than the brush. I'm actually able to get the brush really close to my roots. As you can see, it's like really flat. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, just gonna do the sections well. So I'm going to try and blow dry this section on level 2 without sectioning it to see what happens. So as you can see, it definitely needs to be blow dried in sections and also the air was blowing in my face here, as you can see. <laughs> And that was pretty annoying to be honest but it was pretty easy to use and it didn't feel too clumsy in my hand so yes that's done it looks pretty good the only thing that i would say is that it's blowing air from both ways so when you do this it's going to be blowing air in your face and i realized that it blows stronger on the side where the revlon sign is showing so yeah it's really annoying that it blows in my face it makes me even hotter the hair feels really soft smooth, shiny, silky. The ends obviously they feel a little bit more coarse because they need to be trimmed off which is the reason why I blow dry my hair in the first place. Pretty decent hair dryer. Um, it's not the straightest result, same with the other Revlon brush. It's not the straightest result I've ever achieved using a hair dryer but this will do. This, <laughs> this will do. So yeah, I'm just gonna do the other side now and just breeze through it. It's taken me a longer time than I thought it would. I thought it'd be more of a breeze, I don't know why, but yeah, my hair just takes long to blow dry anyway, so I don't know why. I was expecting it to be different with this, but anyways. <laughs> Let's continue. I am so hot. Oh my God, I'm so hot. So this side's done, and while I was doing this side, this side got fluffy. So I'm gonna go over it all on high heat. a little bit warm in here so I'm just gonna 
put my fan on for a bit. <sighs> so when I was cooling off, my hair got frizzy again. So I had to blow dry each section again for about four to five minutes and it still went dead straight. So all in all, I blow dried my hair for about 45 minutes to an hour and it wasn't as straight as I could get it with a different hair dryer. And if I'm taking that amount of time to blow dry my hair, I expect it to be straight, straight, you know, like straighter than that anyways. So I don't know. The cool shot is still not a cool shot on this hairdryer as well, so there's no point. Otherwise, I would have gone over it on a cool shot to set the style to stop it from going getting frizzy. But it's literally blowing hot heat on a cool setting, so it's not gonna bother. So I'm just gonna let my fan do the work. <laughs> let it breathe. Let it air out. Right. Okay. So that's all done now. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. As I said, it's not the flattest result. I reckon this hairdryer works just as well as the brush. I reckon they're literally the same item, just in a different form. So, yeah. I think I prefer the brush over this because this one is just blowing heat both ways. And I didn't really see any difference with it being titanium, so. So that's all I got to say. So I am gonna go ahead and trim my hair now. So if you like to see that video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a great big thumbs up. It really does help with my algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe for more hair content for myself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.